All right, good morning and welcome down to Diva's house, or Buffy's house, I'm sorry, I've got Diva and Buffy on the, they both look so much alike, we always call them both the same thing. So, we decided to do this down here in their kennel, where they're comfortable, I see you, and, because I know they don't move when we take them to the house. So, all right guys, this is going to be a quick dump out. Here you go, everybody out, everybody out. So these guys are going to be six weeks old in two days. Uh, this is the 17th. Okay, are we all out? No, you got to get out. Bail out. Everybody bail out. Nope, you can't come back in. Bail out. You haven't been wanting in there the whole time. So we're down here. Hi, people. I know I see you now. I'm so excited. So uh, they really aren't quiet like you think they are when we do the videos at the house. But at the house, it's totally out of their element. And they're like freaking scared to death. And this is probably weird to them too. I'm going to get over the heater. It's warm down here. So this is their kennel. Mom goes out this door to potty. There, It's up tall enough they can't go out that door to potty. And uh, they've got a 5 foot by 10 foot down here. I see you. I know you have the babies. And once they hit 6 weeks old, we probably are not going to take them away. These guys are really small. So I want to make sure that, I know you're just happy people now, that they, um, everybody is good enough. This is the big guy in the litter, I'm pretty sure, that and this one. So what I'm going to do, I think I have the microchipper in my pocket, because we forgot to bring the one from the house. Yep, we got it. I know we see you. Let me give that out there to Vanessa. All right, so... Um, everybody is eating dry dog food. They have a big bowl of water in here. They actually have two different foods in here. We're feeding a really tiny bite because they are little. Um, and it's called American Naturals. It's puppy starter. And it's a really, really super tiny bite. Ouch, 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 ouch. Who is biting me? You are, you little demon. Um, so this is a really nice tiny piece. It's easy for them to eat. And it makes them want to eat because it's easier than chewing on the other dog food, which is a little bigger. But they have their choice out here, which one, I know I see you, which one they want. So I'm going to get started. I mean, get over here on the rug. Um, we always give them a, a rug, a carpet, or something because it's concrete under them. And the concrete's cold because part of my rear end's on the concrete and part of it's on their, their carpet. What are you doing back there? It's the basket. It's okay. Um, all right, let me get him since he's behind me. We'll do him first. This is the male, and hopefully your light is good enough for you down here today. Uh, I don't ever work these. Okay. Okay, his last four microchip numbers are 9050, and this is a phantom male. He has the yellow collar. I know. I see you watching me. Are you watching me too? He says, what are you doing down here, lady? This is not where you usually go. Two pounds, I'm sorry, three pounds, 8.0 today. And I do have new pictures for you. I'm gonna try my best to get them on some tonight, some tomorrow, but I'll try and get these guys on as soon as I can. I know, I know, I know you're not gonna hold still, are you? No, okay, you're down, you're gone. All right, let's just do all the blacks and that will be my easiest way to keep track. So this one is another male. This one is the neon green collar. You guys are giving me a bath. All right, quit. 9040 is the microchip number. Let me hold him up here and see if he'll look at you. See, no, so I wanna see what's going on behind me. Are you looking behind you? All right, let's see what he weighs. He is three pounds, four ounces. Jump, good dismount. Sometimes they kind of flop off. All right, let's do the Merles. This one is another male. This is the blue colored blue Merle Phantom. You can see, whoop, there you go. It's got all the really pretty brown markings. He's a good boy. Got brown eye, blue eyes. I know, don't look at my eyes, he says. I can't tell down here, but it looks like maybe a fleck of blue, but not a whole blue. Are you in my lap? I see you. All right, so this is 9049 is his microchip. I know it. You have to look at Vanessa. Look at Vanessa, not at me. All right. When they come to the house, this licking stops. 
Um, I work on no bark, no bite, no lick. Three pounds, five ounces. That was a little bit of a klutzy dismount. Yeah, I know. Okay, we got one more Merle. Okay, this is another Blue Merle Phantom. And as you can tell, they are very social. <laughs> it's like I'm a magnet and they're stuck to me today. You guys, I brought you toys. Look, looky. I brought toys, look. Go down here and look what's on the floor. Look here. Oh, there's a toy. Yeah, look at that. Look here, I got toys. Don't chew on me. Chew on the toys. Chew on the toys. Chew on the toys. Can't talk you into it, can I? All right, this one is the neon orange. Here you all come again. Huh, 0448 is the microchip. Oh, let me hold you down here and let Vanessa get a face picture if you'll do it. Ouch, ouch, that's my finger. All right, let's see what you weigh. Two pounds, 12 ounces. You gonna jump? He says, oh, I can't get down. So I can't get down. You gonna get down? Can you do it? You're okay. He says, no, I can't do it. All right, come here, I'll get you. Okay, go learn, jump. There you go, see there, you did it. The boy. All right, let's do the chocolate merle. So this one is microchip number, what was yours? This was 0448 on that Merle we just did with the neon orange. This one's 0449. This one is the chocolate, you guys, you can't keep getting in my lap. There's not enough of you, go away. This is the chocolate Merle Phantom with the brown eyebrows and the brown trim. Let me see your eyes. No, I don't think there's any blue I can see. Oh, people, you're just like two pounds, 6.5, I'm pretty sure, but let's make sure. Two pounds, 6.5, good dismount. I know I burned my finger and you just found it, didn't you? Thank you. All right, let's do this one. And you're biting my leg as hard as you can bite. This is the purple collar, 9038. And this one is, come out there. This is a female. And she's the chocolate party Merle. I know I see you. Just look at how handsome you are. All right, let's see what you weigh. Two pounds, nine ounces. We haven't got to the little guy yet. I know I see you. You're a good baby. All right, let's see. I did you. I did. Okay, let me do the other chocolate Merle so I don't. Get messed up with the chocolate merles. No, wait a minute. All right. This is the red collar, 9048. Okay, guys, I know. I don't need you in my lap. Oh, come over here. I'm going to sit this way. Put the scales right there. And this is a boy. He's got a red collar. Now you can't climb. You have to climb on me. Oh, that's zero. Yeah, there it goes. Two pounds, eight. No, nope, two pounds, seven point five. Don't bite so hard. No, don't bite so hard. I know everybody's chewing on every inch of me that you can chew on. All right, let's do you. You're actually chewing on the toy. Good job. Look, guys. Here, look. Look here. Look here. Oh my, chew on that. That's a great thing to chew on. Where'd I go? So. This is light pink, 9039, and this is a chocolate party Merle. Ouch. You guys like a little dragon. Get over there and chew on that. I'll hold her up here and let Vanessa get a face picture. Oh, okay. You're worse than kids. Now you're going behind me. Go clear through. There you go. All right, she's got a pink, baby pink collar on. And you are two pounds, 2.8. Okay, where's my little guy that I was... Okay, we did you too. We did you, we did you. I think we're done. There was somebody in here I was really concerned about because they were not over two pounds yet. Ouch. But... I know we did everybody. You know, you're all, well, that's good. They're all over two pounds. 
because I was really, really, really concerned. We had one that was still under two pounds and I don't let them go home until they're well over two pounds, nor do I spay and neuter them if they're not over two pounds. So we're finally over that mark. Okay, guys, look, I know people. So you can see there's a lot different activity with this week. Hi, sweetie. I know you're staring at me, aren't you? You're a good baby. It's a good baby. This is the boy. This is probably the smallest. Oops, clunk. You fell down. Nope, two pound eight ounces. I don't know who it was. Somebody in here just this last week was not over two pounds. And I was really concerned. Ouch, you are biting. Oh, I know. It's you're just a bad boy. Just a bad boy. I know. But you guys. Okay, okay, okay. It's an endless fight. So they're doing great. Um, they have had their, um, they're going to get their six-week shot on the 19th. So that's coming up. I know, people. I know. Yes, I know. I don't want to lick. No. I know you're my whiner. I know. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. You'll be fine. Just you'll be fine. I know you're not chewing on me. You're not chewing on me. Um. They are going to, we're going to fall, there you go. Um, they're going to come up a little bit at a time when we decide to go ahead and wean them. I may not wean them as quickly as we normally do. Um, she's been a really, really, really good mom with them. and But they're just so little. Tigger throws really little puppies. And I, I'm really pleased that they stayed this size, but I was a little bit concerned the size they were staying. He says, no, that's my mom. But uh, they have had their uh, toenails cut every week. They'll get a bath this week. And once we get the videos out of the way, which we try and do on Monday and Tuesday. So hopefully um, this will give you an insight to where they live. You'll know that they're active. They're a little bit overwhelming because they want all the attention. Don't you? Yeah. This one has a blue eye. So this little one with the light baby pink collar definitely has a blue eye on this side. I can't tell if they're gonna go green though. Right now they're very blue. This one may stay blue. This one may turn green. You may have a green eye and a blue eye, I don't know. But um, when I can catch light on them a certain way, I can tell you <coughs> if they're gonna change or not. You're gonna fall. And uh, so some of them are blue and some of them are gonna have uh, green eyes it's just iffy right now as to who's going to turn so if you have questions if you have not booked in for puppy pickup please please do so because I'm filling up on days that you won't be able to get the day you want if you don't get in early kind of and get booked because there's 13. so many litters going home at the same time you guys are going to fall you make it oh yeah you made it what you want what you want so they're doing good, but please call me with questions. If we're shipping you your puppy, everything will be on top of your crate. You're going to have your health certificate, your spay and neuter sheet, your microchip information, and your puppy dog food. Your dog food, not puppy dog food. I may send you home with some of half and half American Naturals. Also, um, if you want to stay with a little bite when you get it home, Royal Canine makes a small breed dog food. Uh, they put a dachshund and a Yorkie and different things on the back. It doesn't matter. A small breed is a small breed. So uh, I would say if you're going to look for a small breed dog food, if you see the size when you get your puppy and it's mixed 50-50, um, I would go with Royal Canine uh, for their small their small breed dog food. So And don't buy the little 5-pound bags. Buy at least a 20 or a 40 because or a 33, depending on how they package it. It lasts for six months. You will use it. Put it in an airtight container. That way it won't get mice in it. And... Uh, it's much cheaper if you buy a decent sized bag. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. They're doing great uh, and their teeth are well in their mouth, believe me. I have holes in all of me, I feel like, ouch. So give me a call if you have questions. Give me a call if you haven't booked in. We'll talk to you soon.